I can move his teeth now. Hello? Frank? Oh, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's going to be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Nope. So far, so good. But I discovered something that you might be interested in. Oh, yeah? Well, I was taking kind of an unauthorized tour of the Healy Healy While Research Center. While you were Center. snooping. While I was snooping, I came across the name of the person Malachi Craven is working for. Richard Akins. Our Richard Akins? Of Akins Biotech? Yep. Wow. That is interesting. I'm not sure what it means, but it's certainly food for thought. Might be just a coincidence. Anyway, if I find out anything else, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Frank. What's going on? You know me. Busy, busy, busy. Doing what? Well... And there you have it. Oh, and I also saved the whales and brought about world peace. Darn it. I was gonna do world peace. Sorry. You have to do bug stuff. See ya, Frank. Hi, Frank. Before I forget, I came across this wall that has this really creepy face on it and all these pictures of animals carved into its teeth. And I'd kind of like to know why it's there. Well, if I come across anything that involves a creepy face with critters on its teeth, I'll give you a call. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Hey, Frank. How's Joe doing? He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? Nah. <sighs> that's a relief. Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. Oops. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Need anything else?
Guess I'll get out of your hair. Let me know when you want to try surfing again. Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. The guy didn't look like a bum to Joe. I thought he said the guy was wearing a mask. No, he said all he saw was a mask. But he got a look at the guy's sandals. You know, just before he blacked out. Said they were Duro soles. Expensive brand. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. You want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Good talking to you. Anytime. I'm not gonna let you ruin everything. You hear me? I'm not. You'll do what I tell you. No, I'm not gonna listen to you ever again. You go back here. Come on. Hey, what's going on? See you in a bit. Sounds good. Hey, what's going on? That was some argument you and your dad had. You heard us? I think everyone within 10 square miles heard you. My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. So can mine. What did your dad do? Let's talk about something else, okay? What else do you like to do besides surf? Nothing. Oh, come on. You like to ride motorcycles? Go to wild parties? Pig out on shave ice? What? Tell me. I surf till it gets too dark. I come home, I eat, I go to bed, I get up. I surf till I gotta start teaching. I help my dad. That's it. That's my life. Think that'll change when you win the championship? You bet it will. My dad told me if I win, he'll hire somebody to take my place here, which means I'll finally be able to surf all day. See, what you don't seem to understand is that I get all the kicks I'll ever need out there on my board. How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? She died when I was 10. That must have been tough. It was pretty awful at the time, but Dad wanted to keep me busy, so he taught me how to surf, something my mom was always dead set against. He also quit working for the pineapple company and went into business for himself. She wouldn't have liked that either. So everything kind of turned out for the best. I'll check back with you later. Sounds good. Not done with that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Still need to do that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. I can check this one off. That's done. I can check this one off. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure. What's the number? It's receipt number 57441. Hang on. Hmm. How well do you know this guy? I don't know him at all. Total stranger. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy, too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently, he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number, too, but he never picks up. Think you could give me Kuto's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. 